Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to keep your face matte, shine free, and lasting all day. So I'm using this Cover FX primer to just prime my skin and get it ready for the makeup that I'm going to be wearing. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation because it doesn't crease, it doesn't get shiny on me, it stays matte all day, and it's really lightweight, so I love it. And I'm also going to be using some product called It Cosmetics and they sent these products to me but I was going to purchase some of these products so I'm really excited to be showing you guys this. It Cosmetics is a great brand that was developed by plastic surgeons and dermatologists so everything I'm using is clinically proven and it's great for all different skin types. Couldn't find my color in the It Cosmetics foundations even though the It Cosmetics foundations are amazing they smell really really great and they have a lot of power ingredients in it to help your skin but I just and find my color and so I'm gonna be using this brow power pencil this is a double-ended pencil kind of like the Anastasia one pencil on one side and the spool on the other so I'm just filling in my brows like I normally would and if you guys would like to check out any of the products that I show in this video it cosmetics link will be in the description box you can use the promo code believe it 20 for 20% off orders of $40 or more and get free shipping This is the It Cosmetics Build a Brow brush and their Build a Brow in the color dark brown. It reminds me a lot of the Dip Brow pomade but a lot softer and not as thick so you can build it as much as you want which is why it's called Build a Brow. Duh. And I like for my brows to be super bold so that's why I use the gel on top of the pencil. Now you could just use the pencil on its own, but the gel itself is waterproof and it has brow enhancing ingredients in it like biotin, antioxidants, all that kind of stuff. I thought that was pretty nifty. And now I'm using the double ended brush to smudge some concealer underneath and clean that up and I'm blending that out with the other end. So moving on to my concealer, the best thing to do with your under eye concealer is to use something that is thick but still very lightweight that doesn't cake or crease. This concealer actually matches my skin tone really well so it's not going to highlight but it is going to just help get rid of those dark circles or any discoloration underneath my eyes and make you look awake. It's okay to use a concealer that doesn't like highlight your under eyes guys, that's fine like you'll just look more polished you won't look super bright under there but it helps to conceal any blemishes or anything like that then I'm going to go back with my LA girl pro concealer in the color medium beige just to give myself a little highlight because I mean I can't not highlight my face like I just can't not like I've been doing it for so long now it's just routine for me but the best thing to do to keep your under eye, from con under eye concealer from creasing is to use a beauty blender. It kind of helps to soak up extra product so you're not caking it on because when you cake on too much product, it will crease. And the best thing to do once you finish putting on your under eye concealer is to set it with a good finishing powder. This is the poreless finish powder and it's called the Bye Bye Pores. Works great for oily skin, works great for pores, porous skin. It gets rid of the pores and it smooths out and makes your skin look super nice, okay? The only thing is that this powder is translucent, but in flash photography, it will flash back. I noticed that it looked great outside in natural lighting, but flash photography is a no-no with this powder. Um, you could probably apply less and it wouldn't flash back. I think that's why it did flash back on me because it was just too much underneath the eyes. So I buffed that out with this big buffing brush and I used the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette on my eyes. And I love this palette, guys. It has really great colors, perfect for the springtime. They're great nudes for the springtime if you wanted to try something that was nude but had a little bit of pop of color in there. I'm just gonna use this dark brown to contour and carve out my crease and blend that out with the blending brush that I showed before. And then after applying that crease color, I'm going to use two lighter shades and I'm going to place that on my lid. I'm also gonna use this Sienna kind of orange brown color on top of my crease just to give some warmth to the look. And I'm doing the same thing under the eyes. 
Now I'm gonna use this It Cosmetics mascara, and this mascara is really cool. I love the handle on it because it has a great soft cushiony place for you to put your fingers. It has a precision end on it to get those really short, fine hairs. So if you have shorter eyelashes or you're trying to do your um, lower lash line, it works perfectly for that. And I'm also gonna put some on my lashes. These lashes are by Royal Crown Lashes, which launches this week, guys. My friend Token Brown Girl made these lashes and they are amazing. I'll put a link in the description box as soon as her website goes up. Now I'm using my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder in color 173 with this huge fluffy It Cosmetics brush. I think this is one of my favorite products from It Cosmetics. This brush is amazing. It blends beautifully and it feels so soft on the skin I love it and you know if you set your face really well if you can touch your face and no makeup comes off on your hand that's that's how you know that you set your face really well okay so now I'm using this black radiance powder to contour my face and bring some warmth back to it because a lot of the products that I've used have kind of gotten rid of the depth in my face Blush is by ColourPop Cosmetics. I love the blushes by them and I'm gonna do a review on them soon, so don't worry. And I'm also gonna use this face brush by It Cosmetics to apply the blush. And it's a really pretty peachy color. I'm also gonna use this highlighting and contour and blush disc, compact disc type thing from It Cosmetics. And I'm going to use the highlight color. This is more of a cream highlight, so it doesn't go on super strong. It's very subtle, but I like it because when you put a powder highlight on top of a cream highlight, it just makes it stand out that much more and lasts a lot longer. Now I'm using ColourPop Cosmetics BFF3 lip pencil to outline my lips. And on the inside of my lips, I used ColourPop Cosmetics Lippy Stick in the color Tootsie. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check the description box for all the information you need and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!